to Moti, who is now a faculty in Ono. Oh, come on. Okay, so first, uh, it is great pleasure and honor to, uh, to be here when Remina, uh, Remina uh, sent the mail asking a, a former student if they want to give a talk. I thought that this is a great uh, opportunity to give a talk and to say thank you to this uh, great center. In this space, I uh, met great people and researchers, and this is really warm uh, place, and uh, really thank you. And, um, and of course, also to Maya that uh, brought me here. And uh, for that reason, I want to talk about uh, uh, my dissertation uh, paper that, uh, that is a result of the dissertation that I made here, and Maya was and is my mentor. So. Uh, Thank you again, and, and I want to talk about uh, brand name and, and uh, product uh, efficacy. If you're thinking about a uh, brand name, there are many evidence that brand name can affect product evaluation, perception, product quality, and willingness to buy. Yet brand name are not supposed to, to affect product efficacy. Product efficacy should be a function of the physical attribute of the product and not of the uh, brand name. In this research, I will try to, to show you, to tell you that brand name can affect product efficacy. So to give a better sense of what I'm uh, talking about, um, increase the, 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 the product um, performance. Okay? Exactly for this, to give a better sense of what I'm talking about, I will, I will tell you about the first experiment, which is about brand name and eyeglasses uh, weight. So in this uh, experiment, a uh, 60, 60 undergraduate student were divided to two uh, conditions, randomly, of course. Uh, each participant was paid for participate and based on performance. The task of participant, you can see that uh, uh, that they're, they're asked to uh, place their um, elbow, as you can see it, on the table, and uh, put their hand extended forward. And in one um, hand, they held paper weights, and on the other hand, they, they held uh, eyeglasses. The task was to judge only which is heavier, the eyeglasses or the uh, paper weight. Um, we used 13 different uh, paper weights, um, you see that the lightest one was 5.15 gram, and the heaviest was the 27.1. Uh, uh, it's one. not. I mean, you can do it. I, mean, I don't know. I, anytime I'm trying to, to compare weights with two different hands, it doesn't work. I mean, I, I have no. I mean, it's even if at all trying to do it one after the other with the same hand, two different hands. It's I, I don't know. It looks to me almost random. It is, it is not an easy task, but you can see that people do it... Uh, Especially things are, of course, <coughs> different, sure. Yes. But if they are more or less yes. the same, I, mean, I don't know. Yes, so, so, so we varied the, the, the weights. Six was lighter, six was heavier. And you can see that uh, from the results, you will see that people uh, doing it, they're doing, of course, uh, uh, arrows, but they're also uh, judges uh, well in certain uh, 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 conditions. So each uh, participant had 30 trials. The order was uh, randomly, uh, uh, it was randomly ordered. And uh, uh, this is the condition. The first condition was prestigious brand name. We use uh, Giorgio Armani. And the, uh, the uh, less prestigious, we use Mango, which, which is uh, not uh, prestigious and, and less uh, familiar. We did a, a, a pilot that, uh, that uh, show it. Uh, on the eyeglasses, it was written titanium. Titanium, which uh, uh, light metal that uh, uh, used in eyeglasses for, this, for that uh, uh, reason. The and ta the task was to tell you which is yes, heavier. That's yes, it? Okay. they hold, and, okay. and we said which is uh, lighter, which is heavier. That's it. So uh, you can see here the, the eyeglasses as the participant saw, saw them on, on this uh, on the condition here of, of Giorgio Armani. So what you can see from the results that the overall tendency was to under, underestimate the eyeglasses weight. But more importantly, 
uh, you can see that uh, uh, in, under the Giorgio Armani uh, uh, condition, both arrows suggest that the eyeglasses uh, uh, is lighter. Okay? You can see here that, that when uh, Giorgio Armani they underestimate the eyeglasses more frequently and, and, uh, uh, and overestimate less frequently. So we can see that the same uh, glasses. Why did them Armani and non Armani left and right? And that's yeah. the, the, the difference. Why, why do I need the weights here? Uh, again? Just, just give them a pair of Armani and a pair of non Armani and vary the weights, the relative ones, sometimes it's. Uh, and that's them. Which one is heavier? Why do I need to compare Armani with weights and to compare mango with weights rather than comparing mango with Armani directly? We try to do it very accurate. We try to, to, to take uh, paper weights and, and like to, to run them. Uh, uh, to no, I understand that, but I think you could have done it just as well and simplify so, it. So let's talk about okay. Okay. Maybe, but okay, you want to give the, yeah. the, <laughs> so the way always in the right uh, hand. And the way is, uh, yes, but I'm not sure that if we do it in your way, it's, what is the difference? Why not to do it accurately and then see? I, mean, exactly. you can vary, I guess it can vary the weights of the, of the glasses themselves. There are ways to do it. Maybe it's more sophisticated. Because is this way the weight of the eyeglass is always constant? Yes. yes. Constant, yes. I see. Uh, and it's difficult to vary the weights there. Okay, that may be an answer. Not mm -hmm. to mention that Moti bought these eyeglasses from his own pocket and they were expensive. <laughs> and there's method where they required buying two of them. Uh, and many of them, many of them. Many, 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 many of them required. But I always work with an evening budget, you know, for experiments. <laughs> all of this was one Okay, so if we go back to the literature, there are some, uh, uh, um, there are some uh, evidences supporting the idea that uh, brand name can uh, uh, affect product efficacy. There is uh, uh, papers that are talking about that price uh, uh, discount uh, uh, can affect performance. However, uh, this paper is, uh, can uh, perhaps uh, uh, be explained with motiva motivation. And uh, also uh, Weber, that uh, uh, also examined the impact of brand name, did not uh, find any, uh, any evidence. And uh, in the next ex experiment, I'm, I want to show you that brand name can change product efficacy, and that the result will be objectively and difficult to explain with motivation. Okay? So for that reason, we, we choose not reported task, but performing task. Yes? Can I ask you a factual question? How close were the weights? Uh, I show it. You, you can see the, the exactly weight. No, no, but uh, talking yeah. about the eyeglasses and the book. So the eyeglasses were 16.3, 16 and yeah. there was, there was six uh, uh, paperweights lighter and six heavier. Oh. And they all varied with 1.8 gram. And what is the connection to efficacy? If you are eyeglasses like me, you understand that uh, if they're not light enough, it can, it can be very painful if you wear it for long. So I, when I thought about this experiment in the beginning, it was really my problem that my eyeglasses always was heavy because uh, I have like big number, like something like eight. So I always went to the optometrist and asked him, give me the, the lightest uh, uh, eyeglasses that you can. And this was the initial uh, <laughs> idea. But, yeah. uh, but I'm going to so show it now. Question. You didn't ask which one feels but, but, but more sense. comfortable on your ears. You said which one. This is if it's lighter, it's not sense. better for you? But, but there's, a, there's, a, there's a spread in sensitivity to weight differences uh, among the population. So we, you, you. But again, we did it to many people. So, to so the conclusion is that you are okay, biased towards toward toward brand that's names. It. That's it. So, so you what? are biased to attribute good quality to yeah. brand names. Yes, that's but it's not saying? just. But it's not just to attribute. It's not just perception. We say that the actual efficacy yeah. of the product is changing. Yeah. 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 Let's go to the other. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I will. More, go on and let okay. Me okay. Me okay. Okay. So in the next experiment, I want to talk about. It's about overcoming uh, glare. In this experiment, participants sat at the table in front of a glaric light. As you, uh, maybe you can see it, but it was very glaric. 
and, and, uh, and uh, putting the chin on a chin rest. They were asked to read texts out loud, quickly, and accurate as they can. Uh, the text was printed on a uh, transfer uh, surface and was placed in front of the glaric light. I mean, if you try to do this task without eyeglasses, you, you cannot do it more than two, three seconds because it's very uh, glaric. So to cut the glare, they, they, were, they wore glasses. The, the two groups that you will, you will, uh, I will tell about wore the same glasses exactly. In the glasses... People did not have optical glasses, I guess. No, only people without... Uh, <laughs> uh, on the glasses, it was what blocked 80% of visible light. Again, we had two conditions. In the prestigious band name, which is Ray-Ban, so people thought that this is a Ray-Ban uh, eyeglasses, which this, this, this was Ray-Ban. But on the other uh, 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 group, uh, we told them that this is a mango, uh, which this is less precious and unfamiliar uh, uh, sunglasses uh, brand. So what we actually want to, to check, is it possible that the same exactly eyeglasses, when labeled uh, uh, Ray-Ban, uh, uh, more, uh, more efficiently cut the glare and and able to read the text uh, more accurate. This is what we, 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 what was our uh, hypothesis. And what you can see that participant in the rebel condition made less mistake and read the text faster than in the manga condition. This is one trial per participant? No, uh, each participant read like it was 84 words, and each word they read, and if it's correct, it's correct, wrong, wrong. And we measure also the time and the mistakes. The unit okay. of observation is, is the average of the subject. Uh, again, yes. So you, you, you have subject, to pay attention. Yes. Subject, uh, word, both glasses or only one? one? No, it was between subject design. Each one uh, uh, wore just one sunglasses. Okay. Um, there was Yes, there was again only one. Uh, it was randomly assigned. Assuming there is enough randomness in the world. <laughs> so please note that if participants were trying harder, they would have to read the text slower and not faster. But you see that people did less mistake and read it faster. Yes. What is the error? What do you mean? Okay, uh, in another experience, uh, so next the experience, here? again, the we said that, that brand name improved the where product efficacy. You, it, it's Rayman. more affi efficiently reduced the glare. Put a Rayman okay? And you'll see better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, uh, in the next experiments, uh, uh, people drink a chamomile tea, described as shooting to body and mind. Again, we had uh, uh, two conditions, prestigious, we took Vysotsky, and less prestigious, we took Hamutag, which is the, <coughs> the private label of Rami Levy. Uh, and uh, participants saw a flowers uh, consist with a circle. Most of them was connected to the center, as you can see, but some of them were not connected to, to the center, uh, and they were asked to mark the unconnected uh, circle. They, were, they had uh, given three minutes, and again, reward for each uh, correct uh, uh, circle they did. No, the, no, no, they had a paper, it was on A4 no, paper. No, no, yes, 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 no. No, this is just no, the same. not the same with the glasses, I mean, it's not combined. <laughs> okay. Uh, again, what you can see that under the, uh, the Vizotsky condition, they detected more missing lines. What is the Vizotsky? Yeah, I, I missed you. I Vizotsky T. No, no, I, what, how does it enter? You, they, they, they drink a tea. Oh, they drink a tea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing to do with the flowers. <laughs> no, no, no. They do the flowers. <laughs> this was a task. <laughs> this task was taken from a, a, a battery of, of tasks that uh, given to people, uh, uh, we took it from, um, from uh, um, 
they're doing it when they want to accept people uh, to job. To job, you know, um, it was from, I don't know if you know, Mahon Noam. This was the, the place that uh, make, uh, you know. Like yes, something. Like a, a subversion of Mahon Pilat. Yes. <laughs> Like so we took this text that. and uh, <laughs> so, uh, so you can see that under the resource condition they detected a more missing line and a fewer uh, false alarm oh. than in the uh, mutag condition. So yes. The, the, as they're drinking the tea, they're also doing the task? I no, think, after. after. They, they, I didn't tell they, actually, but they... they they're uh, drinking actually the same tea, right? Yes. Are they drinking the same amount of tea? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yes, and they were forced to, to finish all the tea. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, after the tea, they, they, they saw a movie, <laughs> very boring movie for 10 minutes, that they would have to think about uh, the tea and what, and then they, they did uh, the task. In the less, <laughs> in the less uh, experiment I want to talk about, uh, it's about uh, this uh, uh, protective earmuff, uh, set to filter loud noises while assisting in hearing conversation. Uh, when you are uh, working on a tractor, you don't want to listen to all the construction type noise, but if Sergio is coming and he, and he said stop, you're going to, to, to go on over me, so I want to hear. So uh, uh, this was the, uh, uh, the purpose of this uh, earmuff, and participants listened to a recording of an answer, reading words, on the background of a very construction site, of very noisy construction site. The task uh, uh, to write down the words they, uh, 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 they identify. All were uh, the same protective earmuffs said to filter again uh, 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 loud noises while assisting in hearing conversation. So again, two, con two conditions, the prestigious is uh, 3M and the less prestigious is the attacks attack uh, uh, company. Again, they were rewarded for each correct word they, they uh, succeed to identify. And we can see that uh, the, under the 3M condition, they identified more word uh, uh, correctly, and, uh, and there wasn't any significant differences in the uh, incorrectly word they, uh, they uh, treat. To summarize, our study showed that Brandon can what does it say? What's the significance of this difference? Can you tell us? Yes, it's, it's, more, it's more than 0.5. Uh, five. Less than 5 for things. It is significant. It was, if I, I don't know, know what minus 4.11 is for T is 58 degrees of freedom. That tells me nothing. So okay, so it's point. People can understand. With 58 okay. degrees of freedom, it's very close to the, to the distribution. It's very yeah, close so to Z. You can think about it as a... Z. And so that's like a Z minus it, 4 in Z. It's yeah. the value it's of 2. It's, it's, four, it's 4 standard deviations. Yeah. Yeah. That's like 4 yeah. standard yeah. deviations. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. So uh, to summarize, our study show that uh, Brandon can affect not only the product perception, but only the performance of its uh, user. In particular, we show that Brandon enhanced performance in visual tasks, in mental concentration tasks, and in auditory task, our results is hard to explain with uh, motivation. Um, I remember always that people try to say to us that uh, maybe it can't explain with motivation because maybe we didn't pay a lot of money. And, and I remember Maya always said, okay, try about the, the auditory task. Even if you have motivation to do it, which it's not likely because because of the brand name, I come to the lab to earn money if I'm a student. So it's not likely, but even if you want to, to, to if you have motivation to, to succeed more, how can you do it? How you, you do it that you can, how you improve your hearing? So uh, this is an open question that uh, we would like to, to think about in the future. And uh, in conclusion, there is many implications. One, one implication that I found interesting is, for example, often patient reimburse only for generic medication. Our research suggests that this might hurt them. But more generally, we can say that branding placebo can provide many benefits and should be further explored. Thank you. So Subject uh, question.
Or Wait, I can't hear, sorry. <laughs> or the subject uh, question before their tasks about whether they know the brands to rank them or something like that. I mean, maybe they don't know 3M or the Adcast. Uh, yes, yes, yes. If we asked them, we did manipulation check, and if they, was, they were not familiar in, with 3M or something like this, so the manipulation did not work, so it's a problem. <coughs> Did you, did you try 3MT? <laughs> By the way, you mentioned that the price is a signal for efficacy, as you say. You know the work of Moshe Shayo and uh, uh, yeah, uh, the restaurants. restaurants. Yes, the restaurants where, where this effect essentially was no longer existent. No, no. They did not find it effect. They did they find, find it. it in the lab, but not in the No, they found it in the restaurant, but uh, diminished, much diminished. Almost essentially non-existent. 